One of the first ones we tackled was the Joe Bryth song, uh, Morning Starship. I was actually not familiar with this particular tune, and as soon as I heard it, I was like, oh my god, I can't, I can't believe we're doing this. And then I, then I said, how the hell are we going to do it? I think Jabrath was from another planet in the sense that he didn't really belong at that time in space where we were. I'm not sure that the music industry was really ready for him. As an artist, Jabrath, I think, in itself kind of sets you up for how to interpret the song. He was kind of an otherworldly, amazing, magical creature of a singer that kind of dropped to earth who died prematurely. A song like Morning Starship was a bit of a departure. It, it's a ballad-ish, but then it rocks. And it's this fantasy. And he was really good at fantasy. We all loved the original, but it was very much a 70s glam tune. And um, Moz really wanted to be respectful to it, but stretch a little bit. So we came up with the, the sort of guitar hits that, that build throughout the tune. The re-entries we changed as far as having different uh, musical licks that would announce each different verse. The track has a bit of that uh, with the background vocals uh, from Ed Drost from Grizzly Bear, which is great. Well, I love the Jabriyev song. It meant a lot to me when I was a kid, when I, but I couldn't get a copy of it anywhere. It didn't really make it over to England. And around 2005, Morrissey started a label and he released that album on, on his label. And I'm like, yes, he's actually got a copy of it now. Now that he's actually recorded that song and done, done a fantastic version of it, it's just great, you know. When I first heard the Morrissey track that Joe Ciccarelli had sent me, I was floored. I mean, what a great performance. He got right to the essence of what Jabriath had done. My mind immediately went back to those sessions at Electric Lady, looking through the glass and seeing him at the, at the grand piano, wildly conducting the drummer or the bass player and giving cues and singing live. I think it is the perfect reinterpretation of Jabriath's song. Because the original artist was fairly obscure, I think it's that much more important that this song be part of the repertoire on this record. People need to know about this artist and hopefully they'll rediscover his catalog and I just, I, I love Morrissey's interpretation of the vocal, I just, uh, it's fantastic.